Do we? I have a bad feeling. I know what you have seen. It is your futures that slumber in this hall. Destiny is in an essential form. All the dreams that might have been. All the happiness and sorrow you might have known. Your tomorrow as it has been witnessed. The black omen transcends time and space. Drifting through the all and nothing. Waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here. And here you shall remain. Unless you can defeat me and bring down the omen. There is no future for you. Come, children, Lavos slumbers. I will guide you into the depths of his dream. Did I say dream? I mean, of course, his eternal nightmare. You know, I thought the final boss was going to be Lavos, and for all I know, it might still be. Wait, was that? Nope! Fuck that! That HP to one shit, I hate. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Mega elixir. Actually, could be useful. All right. Do you have a counter for physical attacks? And I'm underwhelmed. HP heal just so that way you can reach 999 again. Your damage is based off of the last digit of your HP, which makes it sometimes weird. Oh god, no! I just get everyone to attack. Fuck! She has two steals? Really? Everyone's only had one, so that would be a new thing. I can give it a shot. Enough of the set HP to one stuff, please, game. We'll try a second steal. Actually, wow, you're right. Two Omega Elixirs. All right. That's unique. Yeah, bullshit, we have Robo. Yeah, I'm not a fan of these bosses setting our HP to 1. It not only neutered Robo, it puts me on edge, because anything will just kill us. If they have a follow-up attack or a counter, it's the end. We're going to start attacking with Robo at the end to make sure that we can queue up a heal at the end of the turn order if we get screwed over by that. Never mind. I'm not happy that we're winning the fight at 1 HP, though. My powers don't seem to work here. Ah, but I've, uh, I have a better idea. I can feed you to the Mammon machine. You'll be made one with the Omen Lavos and me. I'm not okay with this. Machine alters all energy. Boss, can we sit and get Mega Elixir? All right, worth while steal. Magic sacrifice to increase attack. Attack sacrifice to increase defense. Let me try and guess how this fight's gonna go. It's 64 is not bad. Oh god, his defense is going way up. Wait, what did that do? What did that do? What did that do? That's not bad, but oh, it took a bit more damage than the others. It remains still. I 
little knife that it keeps on telling me it remains still. Point flare. Ow. I think we lift him at an ace. Point flare on Chrono, which is not much. does have a character tier list on YouTube. Oh, do that. Okay. I would probably not look at it at all. Whenever I play games on stream, I always try to go in as blind as possible, knowing very little about the con about the content, about the like direction of the art, balance, anything like that. I try to make all my decisions with whatever happens in game in the stream. Nothing else to really cloud or twist it up. And at least until it starts reducing its... Oh, man, that's... A lot, actually. How much is Twister? His defense has gone up. Any conversation? I getcha, man. I getcha. It's all fine. All right, we get the metal machine, but where's Lavos? Like, he's the one that curved on me before, and I want to be able to get him back. You maggots. I am the queen who shall rule for all eternity at Lavos' side. You will not stand in my way. Indulge in such arrogance in the next life. They have to go the rule of three, don't they? Though that is quite the looking enemy. Give me a second. Right, then we're gonna look for left, then for the head. The gear we grinded up is looking like it's paying off dividends, honestly. Where's my oh wait, really? Alright, you've been stolen from? Chew up the heel just in case to cop everyone off, including Robo. And keep up. Oh wait, I just noticed. Oh god, alright. Why are you stealing MP, or why are you neutering our MP? What do you have against MP? Alright, try and steal from the left hand. Charismatic dress, not bad. Life shaver. Oh god, alright, hold on. Mega Elixir. Let's go for the face. And Mega Elixir, alright. Makes sense. Is there a counter switch? There is not. Yeah, the game's telling you. Kind of, yes. The right hand needs to be physical attacks. Or, no, it's got to be magic, because that's the one that... Ah, God. 
You know what? Let's just be stupid. Luminaire. It's the answer to everything, right? And I'm gonna have a heal beam queued up immediately afterwards, just in case. Oh, I don't like that. MP Buster and Life Shaver. Alright, maybe just gotta kill the face. And that's it. Everything else is a distraction. Right now, only Robo has MP. <laughs> In Robo, we trust. Yeah, please don't do too much or like. Okay, we still have nine at the end of our HP. Good. That puts us to five. You say three to one. Why do you have that as well? Game, stop being rude. That's because now Rubble cannot really help on the fight because of the one at the end of his uh, HP. We already have no MP. Yeah, too bad Dino Tail is AoE. If not, that would be perfect for like a sort of revenge skill to use. Actually, for that, I should not have used Heal Beam. I should have used a standard heal on Robo, because then he would go to 999, and that's all that would really have to worry about. Everyone else can get as low as they want. We're both the one that needs to have just a 9 at the end. And these ways to do this to full heal them. Alright, we did it. How dare you vermin hound my steps? Oh, almighty Lavos, lend me your power. I didn't want to say that these fights were too easy because I feel like I could get humbled real fast by this game if it wants to. That first Lavos fight left an impression. Wahaha! <laughs> At last, Lavos stirs. Before him, you are as grist before the wheel. But I, I shall attain immortality. But you are already immortal. Trying to fight Lavos. Lavos enters attack mode. What was that? Um. Okay, thank you, game. Thank you so much. God. Why did that do so much? Why are you so what? Am I?
Bobble's change his attack modes. It's going through all the fights. It showed me a glimpse of what I'm about to get hit by. And then I got to adapt. Thank God nothing can adapt to 999 damage. Bob will change his attack modes. because we need to use magic. That will change the attack modes. That thing. That thing's nearly wiped us a couple of times. I think it was also weak to light damage, but we just never had it at the time. That was when you were weaker, yeah. Go. No, not from him! That will change his attack mode. That's rude! use elixir to get him back his MP. He needs his MP. He's the one person we cannot let, like, lose all his MP. I will change the attack modes. Missed half of them already. I, I don't actually don't know how many there are, so you missed a lot of them. Dino guy. The one that you had to use electricity on first, and then, like, that would discharge. I'll follow that pattern right there. Yep, defense over by electric shock. I think we now have enough damage to actually just break through when he does that. Now you know why I gave bios for the game. I didn't actually, but now I understand. It is attack mode. So at least I understand a bit more why you gave such write-ups, detailed and all. Magus, he was... I think just a DPS race to a certain extent. He countered with whatever... Or he just did a lot of AoEs. And I can't save or anything! Ain't that very disturbing. I think we're fine, though. Nobody over this fire, but he deals so little. I guess that's like, this is to show like how much we have grown. Cause I'm assuming he's taking the stats from all these past bosses as well. And how influential gear is. Looking thingy. Yeah. 
Marva? I mean, he's just a insect looking thingy. Actually, kill. I just saw Thorky and I assume he's dead now. Levels changes attack modes to the mechanical T Rex. Got the little guy on the up on his little thing right here too. Aw. I probably can't steal a fucking thing, but my gratitude. Sense fight. That's what it. That's. Oh god, that's right. This is the one that you have to rush it down, or else it's gonna kill you. Because it just keeps ramping up infinitely of attack damage. Four. Thank God this happened when Rubble had nine. Marvel's uh, levels changes attack modes. that thing. Uh, that fight was, uh... I don't remember much of it, actually. Shit. Still just triple it, triple tech. It should work out, now, right? Cause they didn't have nothing. Didn't have as much HP, I believe. It's a three. You didn't do much damage. Until it can revive them, that's right as well. And now I think it's time for actual lava. No chance to save at all. You just have to do all these fights in a row and hope it works out. Fucking rain from the heavens. That's the attack that killed it before. Oh, it does. Astonishingly less damage. 
Alright, just making sure that we can't steal anything. What's up on YouTube? I will, yeah. Rebel is now at one again. What was that? Rebel! Three's better than one. Go for it. How's it going, Frog Knight, man? Yeah. Let's go. We should be able to survive that with plenty of HP to spare. I really underestimated how much, like, armor and, and stuff affects damage. Davos Luz, I am most strong. I detect even more powerful life forces within Lavos' shell. I am no lose. No, let me heal first. According to my sensors, we are close to the core. <gasps> Lavos must smell get strong. Okay, hold on. First off, save point, so awesome. I can do the shelter. Don't even need too much, but... Save. Separate save, actually, because we're in the middle of the fight. There's no going back now. Dreams end. I guess that's to back out if you really want to, but I don't know why you would. You're kind of in this now. It's the heartbeat of it all. That's Slavos? Amazing. But that is the DNA of every organism that has ever dwelt on this planet. I would call bullshit, but all right. Isla, no lose. It's cell. I mean, the most raw, imperfect cell. Oh, wait, hold on. What the fuck? How much did... Robo take? Give a shit right now. Kill the arms. Oh god, they're resistant. They're resilient. Their attacks don't deal much, but whatever that big one is in the beginning. Alright. One arm gone. Arm revives the bottom. Sir, you need to stop that shit. Kill beam. How's it going, Tishrim? Welcome! You killed the wrong arm. There's no wrong arm. It's all to the same thing. The jar is trying to find the epoch. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I am not a smart man, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, wait. We're doing next to no damage to that. Why? Wait, what? You 
you're immune to status ailments. What the fuck do you mean, game? Claim the war. That is... Whatever that attack was in the beginning. That is rude. Like that first attack that nearly what that nearly took Robo down to a third HP. That's the one that fucked me up. Oh boy. Oh Robo's dead. Robo's actually dead. Make looks afterwards. Just to be sure. Making sure that it's not like a counter that did that or something. Yeah, we're almost taking the most damage out of it. Thank you for still helping out. Stop that, Robo. You hit him, he should be fine. He should be gone. Good. Are you gonna roll a three me again? You son of a bitch. That was Lavos's goal. Storing and analyzing the genetic code of every creature on the planet. He aimed to use it all to induce self-evolution into the ultimate life form. It is fucking Cell! His offensive capabilities are incalculable. My sensors are overheating. I let no run. Hate lose. Hate run more. I'll give my life, but... I was given life by human hands, but life is, a, is life. I am no different from Luca and the others. This planet is my home. Isla no lose. Isla no lose. This Isla's home. Isla home. Does Chrono talk? Not Lavo's home. Lavo's lose. But Chrono doesn't talk. Trippy. Alright. Yo, beam precaution. That doesn't do much. Alright. Luminaire to start off. What are we dealing with here? Magic defense and all. Oh god, what? Fuck around here for a hot second. That's gonna kill someone else. Wh why did it do so much to Robo? It's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. That's the weird thing. Alright, 
One down. God, this scared me so much. Just seeing Robo die. He has almost HP out of anyone and just see him die immediately. That's just not funny game. Elio Sasaki, how's it going? Welcome. Preparing for... No. Don't do that shit, game. Rubber's Witcher, like, you know, that would do it. That would indeed do it. Resurrect your pet. Don't resurrect it, you... Oh, you suck, game! Oh, you suck! Curse, stay with that if you want immunity. For, for, for Chrono. Just, yeah. And then Chrono's dead. Apparently not. No, I'm just gonna make elixir for safety. Level score defense restored. Temporal shift. Lowered defenses. Driving him so fast. Hey, okay, well, how's it going? Thanks so much for the tier one sub. This fucker's reviving is so, so much. game new. If you see the, the middle thing, you assume it's the real body. Especially if it looks humanoid of some kind, but no! No! The right one! The right little floating shit! That's the actual boss! This game, it fucking gets to me sometimes. <laughs> Achievement unlocked beyond time. Chrono. 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 You, wake up! Get your wretched body out of bed! Your stay of execution has been withdrawn. You will accompany us to the castle now. We will carry out our sentence. What? We've been searching high and low for you, Chrono. Where did you take my daughter? What? Daddy, no! Chrono hasn't done a thing! My daughter says Chrono has done nothing! What do you think of that, Chancellor? Oh, what do you think of that, Chancellor? If I may speak freely, Your Grace, I think your daughter is quite clearly delusional. Chrono's deeds have impacted the entire kingdom. The Chancellor, too? What's the matter with you? 
Please just listen to me. There's a reason I've been gone. You see, we had to save the future. What? Save the future and taught us what it is to and what it is to have hope. In Guardia C, you defeated Magus's troops and restored peace to the realm in six in the year 600. Fucking scaring me, Frog. That when I read the bad, I'm like, oh god, no. <laughs> With their uh, kind of awful legal system, it's happened before, though. It could happen again. How did you get here? Colonel beat reptites. What's going on? Why are you all here? Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? You undertook quite a daunting mission. These past, the, the, these past future members of our line told me all about it. Members of our line? You mean people are all my ancestors and descendants? You were fussing about rules when you were out protecting our kingdom and the life of the entire planet. I believe a victory parade is in order. Tonight, we celebrate you, a hero who saved the world. Nowadays, why don't you go and enjoy the last night of the fair? No, no, oh wait, why, why did I say nowadays? Now, Nadia, why don't you go and enjoy the last night of the fair? I wonder what would have happened if we went in there without Chrono and we just beat the game without Chrono. Come along with Chrono, our hero. Come along with Princess Nadia, home safe at last. May Gaudia prosper for another thousand years. That's an ending too, really. If you beat it with Magus, I wonder how that turns out. So many in this game, that's insane. Let the Moonlight Parade begin. there too. Cute. Okay, out of curiosity, how many endings are there in this game? First of a weekend. It was longer than. Oh, I'm playing as. I was wondering what was going on. I'm playing as Marley. Er, Jesus, fuck. 13? And a hidden one. Nothing better than a toast under the stars. Colonel, have a sip. You're the hero today. I didn't suspect there would be much need for weapons anymore. My days as a smith may be at an end. But looking up at that beautiful sky, it's hard to be worried about something like that. Oh. This main ending is like five of them but slight variations, such as kill Magus and Froggy turns back. All right. So this, there are a lot of endings, but there some of them, I would assume there's like certain master endings. I'm going to call it that, even though it might be incorrect term, but like ones that are the exact same scene, but instead of say Frog as a frog being there, he would be as himself, as a human there. And there would be, if Magus was there, it would show him doing something. I don't know. But like there are certain scenes that have to play out and it just changes what characters show up. This game is something else. It is amazing. It's locked in you. That's the bucket. Come right off. Ah. But technically, you can beat this game the moment you reach the end of the time and just fight Lavos. Huh. 
I can't believe it. They say you saved the world. But still, I do wish you would spend a little more time around the house. Mr. <laughs> Charles, I'm having no one around to look after the pets. But Lavos is one too. Really? So that first time you just fight Lavos, you can just... Imagine. Okay, just... Attacking with you just launches you. Alright. I see no other people to talk to. <laughs> There's so much dancing. So much festivities. Oh, they block it off. Alright. I'm gonna just throw that. It's weird! They just jump out of nowhere! This is where we originally started. Well, everyone, this is it. The time of parting is upon us at last. The gate is growing weak now that Lavos is gone. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes for good. You're all leaving? Colonel Strong. Marley Strong, too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor. So you'd better have strong, healthy kids. Or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry. I love much energy. Yeah, she does. Wait. What do you mean by that? Dino dumb. I love go now. <laughs> Exuberant folk. And to think, we, we may all have descendant from them. Well, Your Majesty, Queen Lane awaits. We too should take our leave. Frog? I've always felt farewells were best when we kept brief. You're right. Who needs words? Aw, you know it's a happy ending when the princess kisses the frog. So you're going to search for Shala? And he says nothing. The edge lord. Luca, I will keep working hard in the future. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to Robo? Oh, you realized. Realized what? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. The world will never be ruined now. Robo may not exist in the new future. <laughs> Do not be ridiculous. The new future will certainly have a place for me. Darn it, Rebel. Don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. You are the one who taught me to consider the feelings of others in, this ma in that manner, Luca. I'm grateful for that. Don't cry, Luca. I'm sure Rebel will still be built in the new future. Why does Rebel have to go, actually? He's, like, he won't break down, I think, so we can just wait for the future to happen. Goodbye. Caution, I has called my vision sensors from, uh, been, uh, has occluded my vision sensors. Sight diminished. <laughs> The other team needs to separate. Of course. Mm. 
You remember the talk we had? You mean about uh, whether our lives flash before, uh, by before we end? Before we die. I can't English at all. Yeah, I get that feeling that entity is finally at rest, too. Yes, I feel it, too. It's awfully easy to mess things up traveling through time. We should probably dismantle the epoch, shouldn't we? We'd never be able to see any of the others again, though. You naughty thing, come back here! See, Colonel? Pets run away when you don't feed them. Oh, God, no. Hey, come back here. Leave it. It's gone for good. Oh, no. Colonel, that gate will never open again. <laughs> well, looks like we have no choice but to go after them. After them, but the gate's already. Okay, you don't mean. We still have a time machine. <laughs> oh, there you are, Princess. His Grace is looking for you. You can have a lot more cats, really. <laughs> But you know. I'm happy, you know. Now there's no reason for you to be running off anymore. About that. I have a gift for you, Nadia, to commemorate this day. Is that a fuck off bell on balloons? This is Nadia's bell. I will ring it across the land. It will ring across the land. Pretty, isn't it? Could you and let everyone go? Could, could someone please lend me a hand? Thanks for the gift, but I pleased to be. Whew, I made it just time. Shall I fire off a few? No, Tavon, not now. Actually, I could really use your. God, I can definitely see why some people love this game. I've said it before, but if I played this game when I was a kid, I would have lost my shit. Or just how good the story is, how the characters are so well, like, sort of developed. The technology of this whole thing at the time, the thought put into how the whole game is laid out. I would have not been able to handle this. Like, I did not play RPG games at the time when this came out, so this would have just been a whole different thing for me. You say, eh, Angelo, but understand, at the time, I had not played a single RPG before. The most I thought games could do at the time was, like, Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. X X X X. If you played before, <laughs> you know I think I've seen someone with, with that name actually on PSN and such. God damn! At least I've seen so many, fucking so many X X name X X stuff. Oh, look at them. Care development. I mean, I can understand you on that, just because. Character element is optional. You have to get it. And this ending could have had Frog as an actual as an actual human here. This is the most we get. We get we get Luca, Robo, and Marley to an extent with her father. And him being an Edge Lord, of course. You didn't do a substory? I did! We just didn't what's it called turn him back into a human by killing Magus. Yeah, if you don't kill Magus, the curse isn't broken. Who's 
because that makes it so well. I feel like a character can be very memorable, even with like the most basic of like trope designs and amalgamation of stuff, if it's just excluded well. You don't gotta be unique. You don't gotta be over the top. If you just do it right, it works. And this game does a shocking amount right. Like, I think someone on chat messaged it, uh, messaged it before, but... Like, I have played some games that say that their choices matter, but this one actually felt like the most random things were choices, even though I didn't think they were choices or presented choices as choices at the time, and mattered to the characters and the world, and it felt amazing. I can officially say I love this game, and I'm sad I didn't play when I was a kid. I'm happy I have, though, and thanks to you guys for actually telling me to play it and putting it on the on the vote. Because I can tell you, this is among the games that I would always know is just like a higher tier of game that people love, but I would never go and confirm it. There are just too many games coming out that I want to play that I never would really go back to the older stuff. But now that I have, I'm fucking happy I did. It was great. It was a fun as fuck game. It was amazing. And now we ignore Chrono Cross. I've heard some people say in chat that Chrono Cross is not a bad game, but they say it's a bad sequel to Chrono Trigger. And I don't know. I've seen nothing of Chrono Cross. But I don't know actually if, it, if that's right or not. I ever played him a turn? No, I ever heard of it. Oh, we got cutscenes too. Wait, what is the cutscene though? Like you can see, it's grainy as shit. Okay. It's just gonna... Wait, is it just gonna show this entire scene again of like everyone celebrating and stuff? Game. Or no- oh! Really? Huh. I mean, alright, but the mother is still kind of lost in time, isn't she? Cutscene assume. Hey, there he is. We never did the quest, but we can still see Glenn's hair. He's a cheetah. I mean, he looks. If he's got a sword, though, isn't that trunks? This is the green Vegeta hair. And you don't see his face actually. You just see the hair. The green accent. That's why I joked calling him Vegeta in the beginning, really. Go on, Vegeta Hybrid. I get ya. That Megas like to remove, decide to move the curse somewhere down the line? Does that mean that he just decided never to? He's like, you know what? You'll live with a frog forever now. But if we killed him, it's gone. So does that mean that Megas died at some point and then Frog outlived him? Who knows? Aw. That reminds me of GT though. Now I don't know if I'm okay with that. And it is Finn. Upgrade version staff. So these are the people that worked on the port and remake or whatever. Was made to connect to Chrono Cro Really? Huh. I 
Baby is the main character. I. Mm. All right. The ending and post game are just connected to Chrono Cross. Gotcha. No reaction to finding Baby in the Forest with a glowing necklace. Of course. Oh, post-game dungeon. Gotcha. You can now visit the Dimensional Vortex. Ending number one, Beyond Time. Clear count, one time. Save game completion data? Yes. Over our existing save data? Yes. Save data complete. This game was special. I fucking loved it. Everyone on Twitch, thanks for watching. Well, if you want to see more, I post on Discord votes of games that I have ready to play for you guys to vote and see which one we actually get to experience. And, like, you guys put up games into that vote as well, and it can be kind of awesome. Cross and Radical Dream. If you want, go ahead, Angela. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, Beyond Time is the one that we did. And he, there are four variations. And same with this one. There is four variations of this, of this ending. And each one of these is a whole other ending. Dear God. There's lots to try to unlock and find, especially in the days of, like, the young internet days of trying to figure things out. This appears to be just substituted by distinct frog. Half the cast here is gone. That's... This song is actually pretty good. But everyone on, on Twitch, thanks for watching. Follow if you want. Sub if you want. Monetarily helps out. I appreciate donations whenever they happen. Discord we have. If you scroll down on the bottom, there's a Discord button. We vote on games we play here. You guys put in games to vote. And we just figure out what else I'm going to play because everything was the first time. Everyone on YouTube, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want, I guess. At the end of the game, we play, I'd say I actually want to do it because I assume everyone has a brain. If they like something, they're going to actually subscribe and get more of it. Likes mean something to the algorithm, but I'm so small that it does not fucking matter. We cannot move that needle even if we wanted to. And comments, I still read. They still ping my phone. I still get alerted every single time if someone comments on that fucking Yakuza 7 video of me grinding for the EX gear, and I try to answer the questions from that game from so long ago on how to get EX gear. It's weird. <laughs> and until then, stay awesome, everyone. Hopefully, you'll let me stand you one more time another time. Tomorrow, we will be playing Final Fantasy Tactics on the PS1, the Lion War Mod version. See you guys.